windy. You can see it's a dreary kind of day. Clouds, supposed to rain, supposed to clear off. Me and Jack are headed to the store. You know why we're going to the store? You see that right there? That's a list of stuff I need. I'm going to make some of that beef stew that Paul made. I'm changing it a little teeny bit. I'm going to use uh, onion powder. I use a lot of onion powder and everything. I'm not going to do the dumplings. And I'm going to try his soy sauce. And we'll give it a spin here in a little while. I got the water on. I didn't use 20 cups because my pot's bigger. I use 30 cups of water. So I'll add a few more carrots and a few more doodads. We'll see how it goes. And I'm going to use uh, some ground beef and some whole beef, you know, some cubes. Stand by. What I forgot to tell you was I'm the Kroger's up here about a quarter of a mile, but I'm going to cut right through here where Kenny lives and pick up my uh, five millimeter Henderson suit. I got a, a really, really nice Henderson full suit, five millimeter. I never wear it because it's so damn bulky. And I just don't like going out to my neck, my chest deep this time of year because I don't like being cold, even in a wetsuit. So, but a farmer giant works great for me. So I got Kenny, you know, he's a upholsterer guy. I got these heavy duty sewing machines. I got him to cut it off for me, cut the whole top off of it and just give me the pants uh, up above my waist about, I don't know how high it's going to be, about eight or ten inches above my waist. He called me and said, come by and pick it up, it's ready. So me and Jack are pulling up here to where Mr. Kenny lives now, stand by. Because it's inside out. But that's where it was. He see, cut it off and all I got is the top. I mean, all I got is the legs. I think it'll be okay. It'll be warmer anyway. Kenny's right there. See, that's where it comes up right along in there somewhere. Yeah, just put it down, uh, uh, you know, like a vinyl jacket on it. 40 bucks later, I'm home. Water. I got like a shade over three pounds of chopped beef, a stew, and one pound of ground beef. I like the beef. My group likes beef. Something they can see. Chop up, munch on. Stand by. I got the celery washing off. Put the carrots in there in a minute. Get the pan ready for the beef. I will have to say this is the first time ever using a Napa cabbage. First time I ever picking up a Napa cabbage. I didn't know the Kroger had Napa cabbages, but they had them. God damn, they ain't big too, buddy. Woo! Great googa mooga. Two onions about the same size as Paul's. I'm beginning to think my pot ain't big enough. Stand by. Couldn't find the beef granule, so I went with a home style beef stock. Meat is just about ready. I got the soy sauce in here. All the vegetables are in here except for the mushrooms and the corn. I'm working on them now. There's the mushrooms in the corn. I got them just draining off a little bit. I want to put all that liquid in there. Well, I'm, I'm just about done. I got everything in there except for the corn and mushrooms. I followed uh, Paul's recipe almost to the T, except I used a little more garlic, I mean uh, onion powder. I'm not going to put the dumplings in, and I'm not going to thicken it with uh, cornstarch. I'm going to leave it like this. But I can tell you one thing. It looks wonderful already. I haven't even put the meat in. It smells good. I like it. Thank you, Paul. Now the weather's turned off really nice, too. Look at that. It's bright and sunny. No old nasty clouds. If this would get done fast enough, I may have to take a spin today. 
Try my new suit at that Mr. Kenny made for me. Or modified for me, I guess. Stand by. I use that much soy sauce, Paul. One thing I did do was I poured off about 10 cups of water, so I went back with Paul's original 20 cups before I put the stuff in. So we, we back down and you see where it is that I ain't put the meat in yet. So it should be a full pot of stew. Mmm, I like it. Just simmering off now. Where's the beef? There's the beef. Mmm. 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 Thank you, Paul. This looks absolutely wonderful. Stand by for a later assessment. D O N E. D O N E. Test bowl. Watch where I'm going with it. There's a monster who lives in here who likes beef, but not vegetables. I want to arouse his taste buds with a little beef. What are you doing there, King King? King uh, Katmandu? When you're thrown? Mmm. What do you think? Can you stand it when you get a whiff of it? Mmm. Now we're just trying to see if we can get him off this room. We're going to sit right here in this chair. And we're going to test his reserve. I got two pieces cooling off on him right there. See if he cool off a little bit. We'll give him some of it. We're getting ready to try it right here in this story recliner. Well, the sample boat <clears throat> didn't last very long. But I can tell you one thing. That Napa cabbage is outstanding. I've never had it in my life, never even knew it was a, a thing to have. But I'm going to use it more often in other things now that i found it. A treasure, unknown treasure, Napa cabbage. All right, I think it's time to test the cat, Mandu. For those of you who are new and you don't know who Cat Mandu is, Cat Mandu is a wild feral cat that Chris and I caught in April. And she used to see every day going to work in February. So she started feeding him in the wild. And finally her heart couldn't stand it any longer. She had to bring him home and take care of him. So we got a trap from the SPCA and trapped him and he's uh he's been less wild to a degree. Now him and her have really, really bonded, but he's never bonded so much for me, but let's give him a little test here now and see how he's doing. Mmm, beef. Mmm, I like it. Come on, you can eat it. You ain't afraid of it. Just beef. You know you love it. Is it too much activity for you? Look at them lips going around. Mmm, I can smell it, Daddy. I can smell it. But do I want to eat it? Yeah. about that he said come on give it a try you'll like it beef I like beef it's like a mouse in the field already cooked mouse you're gonna be hard-headed again huh? I bet if I leave it'll come back and it'll be gone now I'm going to break some over and put it in your bowl and I'm going downstairs to get my detective stuff ready. 
It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. As Mike would say. I think I'll go detecting. I'm going dry sand hunting for some keys. A buddy of mine lost his keys. Jason, my new buddy, wants to borrow one of my scoops and see if he likes it. And then he's going to order one. I'm going to meet him down there at uh, Thimble Beach. And we're going to walk to the east and look for some keys. Stand by. Eat your lunch there, turkey legs. Got man do.